Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my memory spread for the week of October 11th through the 17th and I'm super super excited about this spread. Um, I'm going to be using the Haunted House Kit from Caress Press which I'm just absolutely in love with. Pretty much every shop I know of came out with a rendition of this kit but Caress Press definitely had my favorite so that is the one I picked up and I just love absolutely everything about this kit. I love ghost stories, I love the paranormal, I love haunted houses, like in this sense, not like, you know, you walk through a maze and get people jump out at you type haunted houses, but these types of haunted houses I like. Um, yeah, I am super excited about this red. This is a glossy kit in I believe the full kit format. I did pick up the 15 millimeter washi and this tall box here and then this was the freebie which I love. So that is it for the actual kit. And then for foil I'm pairing it with silver and I have this foil bundle from Planner Pixie Co. I've never used a foil bundle or anything from her shop before so I'm definitely looking forward to trying it out. And I obviously got the spider webs which I think is going to go perfectly with this kit. So there's two sheets of full boxes and headers, two sheets of bougie which I'm just going to set aside because I know I'm not going to be using. And then we have the date dots, washi, and then some fancy headers it looks like. And lastly, the icons and the scripts and weekend banner. So that is that. I also pulled in this confetti bottom washi from SBC so I don't use both of these spider webs. I want to do something different for each of the 15 millimeter washies. I got the extenders from SPC so I can use both of the double box scenes. And then I'm going to be using the Spidey underlays from Planet Hannah, also in silver. So I'm going to go ahead and put down the base of the spread and then I will be right back. Okay, so we are actually going to be doing a voiceover while I put down the base of the spread. And I'm going to answer some Halloween and planner related questions that you guys asked me over on my Instagram. So let's go ahead and get started with those. So the first one I got asked is, what is your favorite Halloween kit that was released this year? So hands down, probably the Halloween Town kit. I just, it's one of my favorite movies, if not my favorite Halloween movie of all time. And the artist that Andrea chose to do that kit was perfection. I loved it so much. And yeah. But like all the other like movie related Halloween kits that came out were like very close behind that one. So the Beetlejuice kit, the Casper kit, for example, those are pretty high up on my list for favorite kits that were released for Halloween this year. So next up, what's my favorite Halloween movie? I already said Halloween Town. I don't do horror. I don't do scary movies whatsoever. So all of my favorite Halloween movies are Disney related. So Halloween Town. I love Hocus Pocus as well. Um, what else is there? I don't know. I think those are the two main ones. <laughs> oh, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. I like The Corpse Bride. Um, but yeah, Halloween Town is probably number one for me. Next up, what's your favorite and least favorite candy? My least favorite candy, is, if we're talking specifically like Halloween candy, is candy corn. It's disgusting. If you like candy corn, I don't want to hear it. It's nasty. Anyways, um, my favorite, um, I'm not a huge chocolate person, um, so... I like Sour Patch Kids and Sour Skittles. I'm really into sour candy. If I go for chocolate, it's usually just like one single Reese's peanut butter cups. And that's about it. 
Also, yes, it is pronounced Reese's, not Reese's. It drives me absolutely nuts when people pronounce it Reese's. I don't know why. I, I don't know if it's like a regional thing that people pronounced, pronounce it Reese's in certain parts. I don't know. I hate it. It drives me crazy. Anyways, moving on. What is your go-to foil colors for Halloween spreads? So typically when I'm picking out foil for Halloween, I get everything in gold, silver, and hollow if we're talking about core foils. If there is a kit that I feel would work well with the fun foil for Halloween, it's usually going to be orange or purple. Um, sometimes green and red will work with some kids, but for the most part, it's orange and purple. So I think this year I'm actually not using any gold in any of my Halloween spreads. It's either silver hollow or fun foils. So yeah, I could have saved some money by not getting some gold Halloween stuff because I wasn't going to use it this year anyways, but moving on. <laughs> um, what is your favorite costume? That you have worn over the years. Um, I honestly don't have a ton of memory of my Halloween costumes because I I don't think I've dressed up once since elementary school which kind of goes with the next question being do you dress up and what are you dressing up this year? I don't dress up. I don't I, I don't have a need to because I don't hand out candy. I don't go out to parties. I don't. I just stay in my room. I lock myself away in my room, turn off all the lights so nobody bothers me. <laughs> That's pretty much how my Halloween goes. It's, it's literally my favorite holiday because I love the decor. I love seeing other people dress up, but like I don't do any of it. <laughs> I just like the aesthetic of Halloween and stuff, so that's why I say it's my favorite holiday. And it's also one of the only holidays where I can be left alone pretty easily, like Christmas, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day. Those are all like very family relationship oriented holidays, if you ask me. So that's another reason why I like Halloween. So yeah, I don't dress up. I'm not going to dress up this year. Um... As far as my favorite Halloween costume, I, again, I don't think I've dressed up once since elementary school, and I only have vivid memories of two Halloween costumes I've ever worn. One of them was Tinkerbell, and I think I was like in first grade, and then the other one is my mom has pictures of me in a cow costume when I was like three or four. Those, that's literally the only memory. I have of any sort of Halloween costumes but yeah that is it for the questions so we're about done with the base so I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about the day-to-day -day. so first thing for Monday I marked down that it was Indigenous Peoples Day the script is from Scribble Prints Co. and I just used a Halloween costume emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. and as you can see I did have to cut up the script to make it fit but I like it better stacked anyways. So that was that. I got coffee in the morning and then I also marked down the figure I was being like unnaturally cuddly this day. Like normally he just wants to be left alone and he sleeps on his cat tree. 90% of the day the other 10% he's like playing with Winnie but for some reason this morning he just wanted to be on top of me the entire time so I marked that down and then I also marked down that I uploaded a video and went to class I went and got a tea and then I spent the majority of my evening watching TikTok so that is Monday on Tuesday, I went to Walmart and the post office before hopping on to Zoom for class. The little laptop sticker I used there is from Papershire. I did take a nap this evening and then I went to lunch with a friend of mine who she goes to school where I go to school, but she actually commutes since she only has to be up here once or twice a week. So 
I don't get to see her very often so she actually had time after getting out of class early to go have lunch with me so we went to a Mexican restaurant and then I had a YouTube binge in the evening. Wednesday my class was cancelled, thank god. So I marked down that I was pretty sleepy. I think Figaro woke me up at some ridiculous time this morning. So. I think I stayed up for maybe an hour or two after it got announced that my class was canceled and then I went and took a nap. So I also marked down that I picked up SPC's new releases. I got what I think is the last of my Christmas kits for the season. And then I also marked down that I went and got some more tea and then I spent pretty much all evening studying for exams I had the next day. And then we also had some thunderstorms roll in this night, so I marked that down and I just used a Once More With Love munchkin for that. Moving on to Thursday, I marked down that I woke up early this day to get some studying in before my exams in the evening. I also marked down that Figaro was being ungodly annoying this day. I don't know what it was, but he was bouncing off the walls, going absolutely bonkers, and I was getting ready to just throw him in my room and lock him in there because I was just so done with him. I also marked down that I was pretty exhausted after my exams, but I didn't get out of my exams until like 5 o'clock in the evening, and then I had in a lab right after that so uh, there was no nap for me this day but I did celebrate being done with midterms by getting some Taco Bell in the evening so Friday my class was canceled again which was lovely so I actually watched the newest episode of Grey's Anatomy this day um which was everything I ever hoped for and more. If you guys watched the newest episode, let me know what you think about Addison's return. I personally loved it, and that is not a spoiler by the way, because they announced she was returning months ago, so if you didn't know about that, that's your own fault. But yeah, I thought it was perfect. I cried. I needed it. Um, I also marked down that I watched the Animal Crossing Direct, which is basically just a preview of updates coming to Animal Crossing. I have not touched my Switch since like January of this year. Not even kidding, but I wanted to see what was coming and they announced some pretty spectacular updates. If you guys used to play Animal Crossing, I highly recommend you check out those updates because it inspired me to pull out my Switch, dust it off a bit and plug it in and charge it and restart my island so I'm ready for when the update comes on November fifth. So on to the weekend. I was super excited because I didn't have any homework this weekend that I had to do after midterm so I literally got to do whatever the hell I wanted this weekend and it was amazing. So I played Animal Crossing the majority of the time. Oh and on Saturday if you guys watched a plan with me of mine from a few weeks ago you know that I heard a cat get hit by a car outside my apartment and I went out looking for him. Couldn't find him. I just assumed he's been dead for the last three weeks, but he showed up on Saturday. Just out of nowhere, I walked out of my apartment and he's literally just standing at the bottom of the steps meowing. I seriously thought he was dead. I have not seen him in weeks. But he is alive and well. He took off as soon as I came out of my apartment, so there was no trying to gain his trust or anything like that. He took off. Haven't seen him since, but um, he's alive and well. So if you guys are curious and you watched that plan with me, he's good. Um, also on Saturday, I watched Only Murders in the Building, which is on Hulu and is phenomenal. Highly recommend you guys watch it. And... Sunday, again, played a whole bunch of Animal Crossing, filmed quite a few videos, so I have my videos lined up for the next, like, three weeks, which is amazing. That is the furthest ahead of videos I've ever gotten. And then I also marked down that I went to the pet store and got Figaro some adult food. He's a big boy now, and I'm so proud. <laughs> Anyways, that is it for this plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed 
As always, I'll have all of these shops featured in this video linked in the description box below for you guys. And yeah, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on Friday for my next video. Bye!